you ever wonder how long you're fertile for? Come and join me today as we talk about the best time for you to have intimacy when you're trying to make a baby. I'm Denise Neuer Erez and I am lovingly known as the Fertility Godmother and I help women save time and pain on their path to pregnancy. Hello treasure, good to see you here. Today I want to talk about ovulation and how you know when you're ovulating and when's the best time to have sex when you want to make a baby. And so your body, after you have your menstrual cycle, your body's going to go through some changes. You're going to have a little bit, you'll, you'll have your, your bleeding of course, and then it's going to be dry because you just set, shed all the lining and so you're going to have a bout of dryness. And then you're going to have this change in your fertile mucus. It's going to become a little bit more kind of gooey, clumpy, right? And then that actually wants to protect you from getting fertile. So it stops sperm. It's called the gate, the gate, um, sp uh, the gate sperm. It's called the gate um, discharge. It like really literally doesn't want anything going up into the fallopian tubes. And then it'll start to get a little bit watery. And then it's supposed to get this stretchy egg white, which you know as the fertile time. So that's the first sign that you're ovulating and that it's a great time for you to have, to, for you guys to have sex when you're trying to make a baby. So a lot of times you're watching, I see the women are watching, they're looking for the positive, the happy face on the ovulation predictor kit. And sometimes it's accurate and sometimes it's not so accurate. So usually when it's not accurate is if you have PCOS, it can give you false readings or if you have, if you're older and you have a, a higher FSH. Those are some times when it may not read, but you could be ovulating. It may not show that it's positive or have you ever experienced that? You have the, the positive and then it's not positive or you're not quite sure that it's positive. Do you know what I mean? Right? So that you want to like learn to pay attention to your body and the ovulation predictor kit can be really helpful in guiding you to make sure but I want you to understand one thing that's really important because I know you feel the pressure to really have sex at a specific time and I want you to know that if your body's in balance and everything is healthy that the sperm can last a minimum of two days, two days, ladies, two days, it can last up inside you. And the healthier environment that you have, the longer it can sustain itself. So it can last up to five days. So the a trick is to make sure that you are having sex before you ovulate so, so that you can make sure that the sperm is there ready to meet that egg, fertilize it, and and then grow an, an embryo and, and grow your baby. So that's the that's the important piece is to have sex before. So you have a, once that egg is released, you have about a 24, 36 hour window. It's like pretty miraculous that we have this much time to fertilize. So you wanna, you wanna have the intimacy before you actually ovulate. So that's the important piece and you don't make sure I see it happen a lot. Sometimes the timing is is not right and you see this and then if you're doing a basal body temperature chart what happens is you'll get that dip and then you'll get the spike you've already ovulated so the basal body temperature charts are wonderful to look at patterns right and I love to look at them because then I can see what's going on in the pattern of your of your cycle and I can see okay we can correct it here we need a stronger ovulation Oh, your ovulation is your um, the luteal phase isn't stay sustaining, so we need to strengthen that luteal phase, or we need to help you, you know, lengthen if you have a short menstrual cycle, or shorten if you have a long one. Right? We can see that. We can see. Okay, we need tools to decrease stress. We can see all of those. I'm loving the love. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Um, uh, so yes, yeah, so that's going to be really, really helpful for you and take some pressure off and just enjoy enjoy the you know the most you can you, you want to time it before and so a good time a good rule of thumb is to have sex maybe three times a week two or three times a week and keep it fun keep it fun ladies one question was asking me how like when is when is there a point of significant decline for 
trying to, when you're trying to get pregnancy pregnant your fertility decline and you know I don't want to answer that specifically because I really believe that every person is different and I mean some women have premature you know they, they lose their the, a lot of their eggs early on and they have early menopause and some women can get pregnant into their late 40s so yes the standard is after 35 we see a significant decrease in your fertility but you know every person is so so different hi Anusha um, every person is so different so to put a number is not the way I like to do things do we need to be aware that as we age our fertility declines yes and if that's where you're at then you absolutely it's a time where you need to focus on being more healthy and more vital and taking more care of yourself in mind body and soul all you need to be able to do all of that when you're trying to get pregnant no matter where you're at is I think preconception care and taking care of yourself so that you can nurture or help have a healthy pregnancy and nurture a healthy baby into this world is ideal and is key so I can't I, I don't want to fall into the trap of giving you a number and then having you if you're over that number you know which in the Western world is 35 so we all know that as we age, even I'm getting slammed with text messages, sorry. Listen, I, it's so important to know that everyone is so different and it just really depends on what's gone on for you, how you've taken care of your health, what was passed on for, to you genetically, like all of those things really matter. So I don't want to put a cap on your fertility, so there's no cap, just we know that your egg quality matters and that your the health of the, the sperm also matter to help make a healthy embryo and a healthy baby so keep working towards that and if you as long as you're ovulating as long as you have eggs then I believe that you have a really good possibility of getting pregnant so there you have it there's that question and then the other question I think I'm going to address later on was about a PCOS and how to ovulate so I'm actually going to make a whole discussion on that for you so stay tuned and I'll let you know when that's coming all right make it a great day and I'll see you soon bye